Hope you're all doing well and today I'm filming the first episode reviewing dining in London. Today we're going to two restaurants. So the first restaurant we're going to is Gukyuzu. Gukyuzu is a Turkish restaurant which has many branches however we're going to the Finchley branch and I've been there plenty of times so I know how good it is. Um, however this is the first time I'm filming it. If you would like to see a snippet of the menu, pause here. So these are the dishes we ordered, screenshot for reference and recommendations. Um, we've been to this restaurant a couple of times, so we've pretty much tried everything. However, these dishes are great to order if you're in a large group. Uh, you can share the culture, share the plate and share the beautiful taste. As soon as you are seated, you are greeted with a complimentary fresh made bread with yogurt and cucumber and we also got salad and um, we also ordered uh, sorry I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation yogurt, but you know what parts lukan esme which is grilled aubergine garlic tahini and yogurt the first thing I got was Sama Kuzubeti is marinated minced lamb seasoned with garlic and grilled over charcoal wrapped in lavash bread with cheese and this is hot butter lamb. and tomato sauce it is served with yogurt and bulgur the combination the sharing pata is a combination of lamb cheese chicken cheese adana kebab lamb ribs and chicken wings and this oh, was also served with rice baby. and bulgur and this is actually probably one of the best things to try say hi Hello. <laughs> this restaurant, Gokyuzu, is probably the best one in London, isn't it? Like, it's so nice. Like, there's other nice Turkish restaurants as well, but they're like, the decor isn't nice. Yeah. But this one, the decor is nice and the food is on point as this well. This one's in Finchley, so... Uh, they you've got so many branches, but this one in particular is in Finchley. And it's probably the nicest one, so... Yes. Come on. All the waiters are talking to us in Turkish. They think we're Turkish. They think we're Turkish and we're like... We're like, sorry, not speak I'm Turkish. Like, um, yeah, can we just get that? It's out of order. Guys, this is your... This is Brugl. How do you say it? Uh, Bolga. Bolga, Bolga. It's actually probably the one of the nicest Bolga you can get. Yeah. Turkish Bolga. It's better than rice. Oh. Healthier. Oh. Apparently it's healthier. And the last dish we ordered at Gukyuzu is kanefa. Kanefa is a grilled dessert which is made out of layers of filo pastry and the filo pastry contains cheese and with syrup on top and it's finished with a sprinkle of pistachios and a dollop of clotted cream. Honestly, we were so full uh, so we just shared one um, and this is us attempting to give you guys an aesthetic shot but failing miserably. <laughs> Angles ain't doing it, the lighting isn't doing it. It's alright, the lighting's alright. I love this place, mate. I can stay here forever. All I need to do is go to Istanbul or Antipolo, however yeah. you pronounce it. Definitely require a um, Turkish trip. Istanbul 2021, here we come. Every time I come here, I feel like I'm on holiday. <laughs> And the next spot we went to, which was in Knightsbridge, is called Chapati Ankarak. It's a Middle Eastern and Qatari inspired cafe, which serves culinary traditions. And if it's your first time going there, I would suggest you get Chapati Ankarak. But we got Karak milkshake, which is infused with Nutella, and it was only six pounds. It So for dinner we had Mayan Sunny which was in Knightsbridge as well and it is a Middle Eastern restaurant with dishes inspired by 
Greek and Italian as well okay. as uh, Indian flavors. However, personally, I think it's heavily inspired by Greek and Italian rather than the rest. And this is a snippet to show you guys what we ordered. Um, it is a little bit more pricier than Gukuzo, for example, and the portions are much smaller. However, it's, it was quite light. So if you are not hungry, um, I'll probably suggest you go here. This was my first time eating at this restaurant. It's a fairly new restaurant in the area. And uh, the decoration was very pretty and elegant. It's definitely an Instagrammable spot. The restaurant was very empty, but apparently it was busier earlier. I initially went for their lobster linguine. However, it sold out, uh, which was uh, such a shame, but apparently that's their bestseller. And if you were to go there, definitely get the lobster linguine. I loved the crispy zucchini spaghetti and um, however I couldn't say the same for the asparagus, the asparagus and truffle risotto uh, wasn't my cup of tea if I say so personally the for me the truffle was a little bit overwhelming and asparagus um, was a little bit overcooked. However. I liked the crab burger, which was very nice. You can tell that the crab was fresh and the brioche bun was just the perfect amount of crispiness as well as everything else. Everything so it went so well. So guys, basically, this is the first, well, I tried risotto before and I didn't like it, but I'm gonna give it a second chance. This is limona something, something, something. I'll put the name up. Um, Let's give it a try. One thing that I don't like already, it tastes like peas, my worst enemy. No, if you guys not. know me, all I can taste is peas upon peas. Oh, However, um, as then, a whole, if you are a fan of risotto, you should definitely give it a try, especially if you love truffle. Um, truffle a lot. Uh, I would rate this restaurant as a 7.5. This is the first time I was going to it. Uh, the staff were amazing. They were so sweet and very helpful yes, asking us if we didn't need anything. Um, however, I just didn't like the dish that I had. And I just had to finish the day off with a bang. I went with my friend to Meat and Fresh, which is a Taiwanese dessert spot located in Chinatown. I really like this spot. We got coconut milk with purple potato boba tea which was my favorite however my friend didn't like it as much so it does depend on your preference and we also got shaved ice with tapioca and grass jelly and mini taro balls as you can see the milk on top which was milk shaved ice and almond soup the ice was had black tea on top with winter melon tea which is, which is the brown jelly you can see it was very delicious and i do recommend it it's very refreshing and it's perfect for the sunny days to cool off the summer heat my favorites out of the whole day was definitely gokyuzu uh, chapati and karak and meat fresh um i would definitely recommend those spots and now we've come to an end i hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy your visit in london if this is your first time don't forget to like subscribe and follow me on instagram for more bye